Hey, Sneaky Linux back tonight, and tonight we've got Unity Linux, based on Mandriva, PC Linux OS, and comes with Openbox. This is a beta 2, by the way, so it's not fully done. Right, if you like bare bones distros, this could be the baby for you. Now, it comes in around about 200-300 megabytes as an ISO, so that's not too bad, is it? Now, this is what you get. A network center, an audio mixer, some tools, open box in it of course, Excel, all that, Sakura, and that's it. You don't get nothing else. There's no browser, no nothing. So if you want to configure stuff and get your own stuff, this could be the baby for you. So we go to the Smart Package Manager, same as Synaptic really, no different whatsoever. We pipe in our password and off we go. Now of course, as when you do a new system, you have to upload all the repos. So I'm going to make the box bigger for you. And then we're going to upload the new repos. There we go. Or download them even. Now the last beta I tried, it got stuck on quite a few of these. Now this time it didn't. But it takes a long time. So what I did, I edited the video. Just a little bit, long time bit, bit, bit. Otherwise we'd sit in here for hours and hours. And we don't want to do that. So I went to there. Look, it's all gone nicely. There's none gone bad. Updates your cache for you. Shoom. Through we go. And we give it a bit longer, and a bit longer, and a bit longer. <laughs> there we go. We're all done. And as you can see, loads of new stuff there. But what we want to do, we want to get a browser in there, don't we? For our basic web browser and get other stuff. So I'm going to chuck in Firefox in the search box. There we go. Firefox is here. So you want to click in for installation. Right, this is the stuff it needs. 30.8 megabytes of stuff, and it will take up 66.1. That's all right. It's normal, isn't it? Really? There's no big deal. Bear in mind I've got some small hard disk. So anyway, we're going to apply mark changes, you get the summary box again, you click OK, and it starts downloading all that stuff for us, just like that. <laughs> so I edited this bit as well, so we didn't have to wait so long. Right, and now it starts installing all the stuff. Now as you can see, you get a log with this too. Bear in mind, it is a beta, so just in case. And there's one of the reasons. We've got a foul thing there, look. Foul script. Not good, but I don't think that one, that one will stop it from actually running. But we'll soon see once it starts. F sorry, starts, finishes installed in Firefox. There we go. Looks like it's all done. Updates cache again. Lovely. All done. So we're going to use that, don't we? Really. So let's get rid of that. This is the other problem I had with it. Sometimes it takes two clicks on the box to get rid of anything. But there is a beta. Firefox is there. Load him up. Load him up. Load up, load up, load up. I also found the boot up on this was really, really slow. But it was with PC Linux for me on the last couple anyway. It wasn't as fast as normal, so I don't know what that is. But hey, never mind. It takes you to the Unity, the Unity Linux page. We'll go to Unity Docs. This is basically their wiki, really. It tells you a few things. You can just, you know, go around and have a look, see what you think, you know. It's not for me to tell you what to use, it's for me to show you what you can do. We'll go to Planet Unity. Now this bit I did like, because I had some of the same problems that they've been getting here. So this is one of the good ones to look at if you are having problems. So that bookmark that, which they already have done. Planet Unity. Super. Right, I'm going to change the, uh, the search engine, shall we say. You get quite a few there. We're just going to use the usual Google. We're typing the Bubaka. And this time... Where shall we go? Don't go to the home page, no. We go to no, not there either. The weather. Cause it's bloody cold. I feel you're killing me. And see what it says minus seven. They lie. It's a lot colder than that. So there. Flash is not enabled, I have found. So that's another thing that you've got to do yourself. Not too bad though. But if you want a distro just to do yourself and then remaster it for your own stuff, no bad. Three out of five. Sneaky Linux going out. See you later. Well, I would go out if it wasn't snowing.